Our next guest is a real treat. An award-winning actress, funny, wonderful, and check this out, a best-selling author. Fanny Flagg joins us right now, and you once said that you found life so hysterical. Why is that? I do. I f you know what? I just laugh. I don't know why. I think I had a very funny father, and he, saw, he had a funny sense of humor. And um, my first job in New York City on network television was on Candid Camera. And I learned that people who, don't, who are not trying to be funny are hilarious. And so I've, my whole life, I just have had the most fun watching people uh, do the craziest things. And, and I find people highly amusing. I, I would much rather go to the mall or to the airport and sit and watch real people than, than the movies. They just make me laugh. And I think Americans in particular have a terrific sense of humor about themselves. Don't you, Con? Well, indeed I do. And how cool is it that Carol Burnett said she can't wait until you come out with a brand new book and voila, here it is. Well, obviously, uh, I'm tremendously flattered. Uh, she is one of my idols and a friend, and um, she, she and I have very, very similar. Um, she's originally from Texas, and uh, I, uh, I'm originally from Alabama, and so we just have a similar way that we, we look at life, and uh, it was very dear of her to uh, give me a quote for the book, and I really appreciate it. All right, Fanny, I've got to ask, what was it about growing up in Alabama that allowed you to blossom to the woman you are today? Uh, you know, honey, I was lucky enough. Uh, to, I started in theater. We had a little community theater in Birmingham. And then uh, I got a job uh, on a local television show. And that was so long ago. Uh, Con, I don't want to tell you how long, but it was live television. And uh, I was telling my friend this morning, uh, you know, if you do live television, an hour and a half live television show for two years, nothing scares you. So uh, when I went to New York uh, to, you know, try and make, make a career for myself, I was pretty well prepared. Uh, a lot of kids didn't have that opportunity to work before they went to New York. So when I went to New York, uh, if I had an opportunity, I was prepared, ready to go, and I'm forever grateful for that. I uh, tried to get a job in Atlanta, but um, I wasn't able to, so I, I went to New York instead. Well, Fanny, we're certainly glad you did, and now we're gonna talk about the brand new book. How did you center it around a filling station? Well, you know, uh, in this particular book that, that I've just written, uh, The All Girls Filling Station, uh, these gals <coughs> had to take over their father's filling station during the Second World War because all the men had to go serve. And so this Polish family owned a filling station. So these four gals had to go to work at a filling station. Well, in the meantime, these gals learned about motors. They learned all kinds of workings of all this mechanicals. And then when the uh, country needed women to join up to fly planes, uh, to ferry around the United States to free up the boys. These gals knew about motors and they learned to fly these planes very, very well. So I thought that was a wonderful starting place to have them learn about motors. And um, I was walking on a golf course and I was talking to some, some nice guy on the golf course and we were talking about the Second World War and how everybody pulled together and really uh, helped win this war. And he said, you know, he was from International Falls, Minnesota. And he said, yes, he said, my mother was a member of an all girl filling station. Well, you know, Con, the minute I heard that all girl filling station, I knew it was my title. And it was right then and there, I knew where the book was going and how I was gonna get, get the gals into the plane. So it was just luck. Well, Fanny, I'm glad you had that catalyst. The rest is history. It's an award-winning book. I suggest all our viewers to go out and get it to have a good laugh and just appreciate life that much more. Thank you so much for your perspectives and fun. Thank you, sweetie. Merry Christmas.